I had to tell you in a few sentences, he was the person who was able to bring about computing as we do it today. Was not focused on an IPO, not focused on making a fortune, but was truly committed to improving the world. He wanted to really solve the world's problems. He isn't a household name like Steve Jobs or Bill Gates, but you've certainly heard of his invention, the computer mouse. Long before the era of personal computing, in 1968, he explained his vision for the power of computers. That demo of the mouse. He needed a thing, so he, he did it. That wasn't his great contribution. He wowed people with that because he could see immediately how powerful it was. He was intense, total believer in what he was trying to do, kind of an Old Testament. Moses opening the Red Sea kind of person. It's just one of his projects that changed computing forever. We're gonna look at computers now as a way to communicate information rather than just do numerical processing. It was from here in 1968 where a researcher, Douglas Engelbart, astonished an audience with two computers connected online to the beginnings of what would eventually become the internet. He's more like Yoda, you know, this, this deeply intellectual guy seeing, you know, into the distance where others couldn't. Dedication, sincerity, belief. This wasn't to publish a paper. He was trying to improve mankind.